This is a quick video about um, a new update for my home lab. Um, as you can see, I've got my X232 uh, um, set up. I've now got uh, all of the 18.2 gigabyte drives installed. Um, had a few issues with it when I installed the uh, remote supervisor adapter. Um, this adapter, uh, what I found was um, that it boots up fine, um, but it, when I tried to load OS2, it used to it, it would crash it. When I took the adapter back out again, um, it was fine. That's been updated with all the latest firmware, so I know it's like a firmware issue with that, so I've taken it out for now, unless obviously I want to uh, put some on Windows NT or a Windows 2000 server which has drivers for that. Um, I'm going to leave that out, but it uh, starts up. Um, just got to try and find a, a replacement badge as that's been damaged. And also the rear fan's a little bit noisy still. Um, I've now got a, a new, new server. This is a brand new uh, ST550. It's brand new boxed for 300 pounds. Um, it's running a first gen um, Xeon Silver CPU uh, 4110. Um, what I've done is um, I've got uh, a couple of 250 gigabytes um, SSDs uh, running running basically uh, 12.12 .12 gigabits per second on there and I've also got uh, uh, for uh, 600 gigabytes, uh, 12 gigabits um, rust hard drive, so uh, not that quite so fast, but not bad for storage. I don't use an awful lot of storage to be fair, so it should be uh, okay for that. It's been upgraded uh, to 48 gigabytes of RAM, uh, I've got another 16 gigabytes on its way for that. Um, I bought uh, the optional uh, additional fan. Uh, CPU cooler and, and the additional uh, CPU is on its way as well so um, I'm hoping to end up getting this running uh, dual CPU it's also got um, a VFA 5.2 uh, 10 gigabit 10 gigabit hard drive sorry 10 gigabit um, SFP plus um, network adapter installed in it so I've got it running 10 gig on the network as well. So um, I'm looking to try and uh, develop it a little bit more. So I'm hoping to have the um, mirror enablement card for it. If I can find someone selling them cheap enough. So it'd be booting up on a 128 gigabyte um, dual SSD uh, running a RAID 1. That's my plan anyway. So, so yeah, so that's the uh, update on, on these so far. But yeah, nice little machine. It's quiet, but not overly quiet. Um, it's sort of in, in a setup where I'd like to try and run it in a living room every so often. Um, it's it's not really obtrusively noisy, but uh, it's not exactly the world's quietest either. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's the update so far. Thanks for watching.